So you can ignore the fact that you're taking a test. But um, I would like to at least show you how to find uh, the logarithm base 5 of 5 over x. So what we talked about um, last time was working through um, working through our example. And yes, I'm talking to this student right here. Okay, Working through this example, um, a couple things you guys need to remember about the properties of logarithms. One thing is whenever we have a logarithm and I have a division inside of this logarithm, what this represents, or let's just say with any base, all right, whenever I have a u divided by v, that means I'm going to take one term divided by another. I can always rewrite it as log of my same base of u minus log um, same base of v. Now, here we have a um, another way we can kind of rewrite this is whenever you have an x or any kind of variable down at the bottom, we can also write this as you know your negative exponent. So there's kind of two different ways I want to show you how to solve this problem. One way is you guys can write your problem as 5 over x. Well, also, it's very common to also we can write our exponent as log base 5 of 5 times x to the negative first power. Notice how these two are equivalent. So if you don't like dealing with your x on the bottom, you can always bring it up top and label it as a negative x. So here, what I can do now is if I was going to use my formula, this one would be log base 5 of 5 um, minus log base 5 of x. Over here, the multiplication, which I did in a previous video, is when you're going to use plus. So division, use subtraction. Multiplication, you do uh, use addition. So this one is log base 5 of 5 plus log base 5 of x to the negative first power. And one thing that we can remember as our other property is I can bring the, I have to bring this negative 1 down in front. So again, what you guys will see is I'm still going to get the exact same answer. Because if I brought like a negative 1 right there, we don't need to ignore it the negative 1. We know it's going to be a negative log. So therefore, either way you want to represent the problem, if you have a variable in the bottom and you want to bring it up with a negative exponent, you're not going to be changing the problem. Either way you write it, you're still going to get the exact same answer. So that's how we do a log with division when you have a variable on the bottom. Uh-oh.